Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Live, Love, and Laugh show. I'm your host, Terry Higgins. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about something. We're going to talk about something that you probably have not even heard yet that's going to really make you mad and very angry. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, listen, listen, listen. I want to tell y'all one thing, one thing. I want y'all to do this. I want you to take your children. I want you to teach your children everything they need to know right now, because if you don't, the school is going to teach them. They're going to teach them things that you were not ready to teach them. But guess what? If you don't teach them, the school is going to teach them. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you might not want your children to know it. But I'm telling you right now, if you, if you don't, your children are going to learn something that you don't want them to learn. And the way they're learning is probably not the way you want them to learn it. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. I'm going to share to you what your children are learning in school behind your back, and they're not even telling you what they're teaching them, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get into, we want to get into this, okay? I'm going to share this with you. This is, this is very alarming. I want you all to know it. I want y'all to know what it is your children are learning. Now, ladies, this is an article I, I, uh, I received in my email. It says, what liberals now want to teach your first graders it's absolutely sickening. Ladies and gentlemen, it is sickening what they're teaching your children. And like I said, if you don't teach them, they're going to teach them in school, and it's not going to be the way you want them to learn it. Let's get into the story. It goes off like this. I just want to give you a warning that the video above is extremely graphic, so if you don't want to click on it, I totally understand. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you and I know that we're nosy. So once you say that, I want to see what you're talking about, all right? We want to see. Now, with the warning out the way, I am giving adults, you would think that the same warning would be given to young children. But that wasn't the case when this video was aired to first graders. Okay, so they're targeting children right from the very beginning. That to me is so insane to wrap my head around, but here we are in the Democrat world where there are no absolutes of wrong, right and wrong. In the video that is posted below, you see two cartoon children and an adult talking about their bodies. The young boy asks the adult figure, how come my penis gets bent sometimes and points up in the air? Now look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We're already, we, we haven't even watched the video yet. We haven't watched the video yet, but look, they are doing a cartoon. They are, they are trying to brainwash our children with the cartoon. But I like I said, let me let me read the let me read the, let me go read the article first, and then we're gonna watch the video. The adult figure responds to the young boy saying, "That's called an erection, an erection." Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you better teach your children. You better teach them because if you don't, the school will. To which the boy says, "I touch my penis because it feels good." Then the little cartoon girl adds, "Sometimes when I'm in my bath." Or when mom puts me to bed, I like to touch my boba too. She likes to touch her boba too. First graders, ladies and gentlemen, these are first graders. First graders. That is when the teacher or adult figurehead in this nightmare exchange ads. You have a clitoris there, Kayla, that probably feels good to touch the same way Keith's penis feels good when he touches it. But have you ever noticed that older kids and grown-ups don't touch their private parts in public? Of course, grown-ups don't touch their private parts in public, and children shouldn't touch their private parts in public. What are they trying to do, ladies and gentlemen? What are they trying to do to our children? What are they trying to do? The absolute mind burn of this entire exchange is enough to make me want to vomit. But here we are showing kids, and not just kids, but first graders, this crap. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video. But what? Let me finish the article first. 
Why the hell is this being taught in school at all? Exactly. Why is this being taught at all in school, and especially the first graders? There was a time that our schools actually taught educational subjects and not sexual crap. There is no wonder that the youth today has absolutely no clue of what is going on in the world since they are being subjected to the insanity. There was a time when our children were actually taught economic science and math. They were also, were also taught woodshop, mechanics, and so forth, so they could learn and establish a trade and come out of high school with a basic understanding of how the world works. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, eventually your child is going to learn these things, but do they have to learn in first grade? However, the left does not want that at all, but wants to add is successfully destroying America and the rest of the world by teaching the youth nonsense. This is the reason that homeschooling is on the rise and more and more people are doing it so their children are subjected to this insanity. Listen, if you have kids in public school, I will be yanking them out and teach them yourselves since our future but de de depends on it. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see this video, you're going to want to homeschool your kids. And if you don't, hey, you're going to be subject to this. Now, I'm going to show you the video. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show the video to you, okay? I'm going to show the video to you because it's crazy. Here we go. There obviously is an ongoing campaign by some radicals to basically indoctrinate your kids in their version of sexual values. The, the biggest problem is that this sort of radical position is becoming quite mainstream across the land. You're seeing public school educators who have decided that if you teach your kids traditional biblical values uh, with regard to sexuality, for example, that this is a form of indoctrination and that you are a bad parent. That if you don't teach your kids about gender fluidity, that if you don't teach your kids about the exact moral equivalence between different forms of sexual activity, then this means that you are somehow depriving your children. And this has driven the radicals to new depths. Today's story, courtesy of Daily Wire, parents in New York City's elite private Dalton school have come out in force against videos dealing with the topic of masturbation that were shown to their first grade children. Parents who sent their kids to the $55,000 a year school have bombarded the school with complaints about Dalton Director of Health and Wellness, Justine Ang Fonte's curriculum, the New York Post reported. Fonte showed six-year-olds a cartoon during her sex ed class that featured, a sm that featured small children discussing touching themselves because, quote, it feels good. Here's what that cartoon sounded like. How come my penis gets big sometimes and points up in the air? That's called an erection. Sometimes I touch my penis because it feels good. Sometimes when I'm in my bath or when mom puts me to bed, I like to touch my vulva too. You have a clitoris there, Kayla, that probably feels good to touch the same way Keith's penis feels good when he touches it. But have you ever noticed that older kids and grown-ups don't touch their private parts in public? Hmm, they don't? That's right, Keith. It's okay to touch yourself and see how different body parts feel, but it's best to only do it in private. I mean, first of all, I, I just have a question. Since we're, I mean, that seems kind of judgmental to me. I mean, so long as they're teaching kids about masturbation in first grade, I don't see why it should only be in private. I mean, shouldn't we learn from the innocence of the children? I mean, truly, if you're on the radical left and you believe that this sort of stuff should be taught to the children, why? I mean, really, isn't that, why are you teaching them shame? Are you kink shaming these children? The bizarre perversity of teaching this to first graders is beyond me. But Let's be real about this. I don't think sex ed should be taught in public school classrooms at all. I think they should be learning biology. Like basic human biology would be good. We have schools that are churning out kids who don't know basic reading or math, but you're going to let these moron teachers somehow teach your children about sexual values. Makes perfect sense. Sounds great. About 120 juniors, girls and boys at Columbia Grammar and Prep School were subjected to Fonte's class called Pornography Literacy an wow. intersectional focus on mainstream at porn because she, she taught at an elite Manhattan school for high school students. So that's great, teaching high school students about an intersectional focus on mainstream porn. I mean, you do need to make sure that kids are, when they're focusing on their, uh, on their spank material, you have to make sure that they are really focused on intersectionality because every act of sexuality is an act of rebellion against the status quo gang. Fonte's class included material such as semi-nude women in bondage, porn genres including incest themes, barely legal, and kink and BDSM and uh, the most searched pornography terms of 2019. The head of Dalton School, Jim Best, announced last month he was stepping down to focus on other exciting and inspiring opportunities as the school weathers criticism from parents. But again, this is just an extreme version, unfortunately, of the kind of stuff that is routinely taking place in schools around the country where kids are being taught that if you have any sort of traditional values with regard to sex, it's because you are judgmental, 
And it's because you haven't come to grips with your with your own your own body and all this kind of crap. Take your kid out of the school right now. Take your kids out of these schools right, right, right now. The battle for the culture is heating up. We here at The Daily Wire. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, did you, did you, did you, did you hear that? The school is teaching your children it's okay to masturbate. It's okay. At first grade, first grade, I didn't even think of touching myself in first grade. First grade? Then, when we all went, got to that level at, at that point in our lives, okay? We all got to that point in our lives. But when did we think about touching ourselves? Was it the first grade we thought about touching ourselves? Realistically, no. But the school and teacher first grade is that it's okay to touch yourself. Even when it shouldn't even be in your head. Our first grade is thinking like this yet? Our, our first grade is feeling like this? In these times, our first grade is feeling like that. Our first grade is already feeling sexual. If so, there's something wrong in your household. If your children is, are, are, already, are already sexual, like touching themselves, feeling themselves, there's something wrong. There is something wrong. I did not have those feelings until middle school. Until middle school. But first grade, the school system feels it's it's appropriate to teach your children about masturbation at first grade? Public school has changed, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if your child is not learning this, if the school system that your your child's in right now is not learning this, it's going to trickle down and they're going to learn it. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. So if you want your children to be safe, if you're okay with them learning this, Teach them before they go to school. If you're okay with your children knowing this, teach them before they hit school. Because if they hit school, it's a wrap. If you don't tell them, it's a wrap. They're going to learn it the way the school system learns is, is going to teach them, and you have no say. You have no say. They're going to teach them what they want your children to learn, and you have no say on it. Unless you take them out of school and homeschool them, or put them in a private school. And I can't even say private school is going to be safe. But you know what? That's not even it. That's not even it, ladies and gentlemen. There's even more going on in the school that you and I don't know about. And let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because I want you to see. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it says, little kid brilliantly explaining to his mother why Jesus is by and non-binary. Two Australian children having a heart to heart about Jesus made some good points that conservative Christians might want to sit down and listen to. Emmeline Carol Southwell was recording her kids talking amongst themselves while in the car as she often seems to do when a conversation took a decidedly religious turn. I want to talk a bit about God, her son said. Levi started, so everyone in the world loves him, but not me. Everyone in the world loves him, but not me. Now, we're talking about God. Let's go on with the story. The concern is already written across Emmeline's, Emmeline's face, but she let them continue. Levi explains, that he doesn't love God because he doesn't know very much about him, but decides to list a few of the facts that he does know. We're up to number one. So Violet, guess what? He asks his sister. What? He's bi and non-binary, Levi declares. So God is bi and non-binary. The shock on mom's face at that reveal is enough reason to watch the video. 
Did they teach you that at school, she asked. The kid claims they did, but mom isn't buying it. Why would you think Jesus is buying? Because he loves everyone in the world, Levi explains. He loves everyone in the world. That's why Jesus is by. Woo! And school taught him that. <sighs> That's some hard logic to argue with. So Emmeline moves on and asks her son, asks why her son believes Jesus is non-binary. But he's ready for that too, because he wears a dress and he's a man. So Jesus is non-binary because he wears a dress and he's a man. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Is this enough to take your kids out of school? Is this enough for you to take your kids out of school? Or is it still cool for you to keep them in there and let them keep telling them and teach them craziness? But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Obviously, wearing a dress doesn't make you non-binary, but biblical interpretations generally pose God as transcending any gender and says that Jesus is God. So Levi's bold claims still hold water. And people online were absolutely picking up what this kid was putting down. People, people agree. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know what's funny about this? A few days ago, I had a hundred friends in front of me because I bought this up. I heard about this. A friend of mine posted it or told me about it. And I and I and I put it on my and I and I shared it amongst the world, and they thought I agreed with it. No, I didn't agree with it. I was just sharing what I was what I heard about this situation. But kids have been taught this in school. A hundred friends of mine, Facebook friends, unfriended me because I heard this same thing. I didn't know that children were learning it, but children are learning it. And now am I the dummy? <laughs> no, you're the dummy and a friend of me because guess what? You're probably the one that has your children learn this in school and you have no, you don't know nothing about it. Casey Miller, Jesus is by and non-binary. And my new stance, and that's my new stance on Christianity. Wow. This is crazy. Look at these, look at these comments. No, this is dead ass. These babies putting exactly what you tell them all together in one. I love how innocent kids are. Oh, man. This is, this is sad, ladies and gentlemen. This is sad. This is sad. I don't see why the LGBTQ stuff is in public. How am I supposed to explain it to my kids? You're not. They're going to explain it to you. Yes. Yes. You're, the school is explaining it to them. And they want to explain it to you since you don't know about it. And since you don't want to teach them, guess what? The school is going to teach them. The school is going to teach them. If you don't teach them, the school is going to teach them. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be left out in the cold. You're going to be left out in the cold. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, share, the, I'm going to share the video to you. I'm going to share the video to you. Let's see here. Let's see, skip the ad. Why are we doing this? Where is the video at? The video should be here. Let's see here, let's see, let's see. Give me a minute, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to find this video. I'm trying to, did they take the video down? It's a possibility to keep this video down, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very good possibility to took it down. It's a very good possibility. Let me see. Give me one minute. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. I want y'all to see this. I really want y'all to see this. See this. Okay. The name is one that Prince Harry has hinted at for years. Her name is Lilibet Diana, and a spokesperson for the couple explained, Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is Lilibet. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved no, that's not it. That's not the report. Yeah, the video. You know what? They probably took it down. 
I think they took the video down, ladies and gentlemen. They took the video down. Hold up. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see something. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. But I want y'all to see the video. This is crazy. I know they're not doing this. I know they're not. What is this? No, that's not it. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. That's not it. That's not it. Where is the video? It, they had it up here. You know what? It's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Let's see something. Late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. No. When the couple was expecting their first child stop, in 2019. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah. They are being slick right now, ladies and gentlemen. They're being slick with this video. They don't want you to see the video. But I'm going to make sure you see it. I'm going to make sure you see the video. I know exactly where to go to find it. I know exactly where to go to find it. Guess what? Mm, 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 mm. Yep, let's see here. Here we go, here we go, right here. See? And it's a bit bad God. So everyone in the world loves him, but not me. I don't know. Yes, you do. But I, I don't love him. I don't love about him. So, that's him, number one. Jesus. Yes, that's him, number one. So, Violet. Yes. Uh, guess what? He's bi and non-binary. Mm. I know that. Uh, ex but I teach too. Did they teach you that at school? Yes. Oh, they did. That is not true. They do not teach you that at school. Why would you think Jesus is bi? We learned it at school. That's a lie. Because Just... he loves everyone in the world. Okay. And why is he non-binary? Because he wears a dress and he's a man. Mm -mm -mm. Any other fun facts about Jesus? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that's a real video. It's real. Ladies and gentlemen, it's real. It's real. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what your children are learning in school. Are you okay with it? Remember in public school? In public school, first grade, you weren't learning this. First grade, you was learning A, B, Cs, one, two, threes, how to how to write complete sentences. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this stuff right here is not what we learned when we was back in the eighties. When I was in school in the eighties and and the nineties, first graders were not learning that. They weren't learning that. And you want to know why they weren't learning that? Because the world wasn't as jacked up as it is right now. Ladies and gentlemen, you better take your kids out of school and homeschool them or put them, I, like I said, I can't even say, I can't even say uh, private school was safe. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're okay with your kids going to public school, you better teach them everything right away. Because if they get to school and their school teaches them, you can't unwrite what they learned in school. You know it, I know it. They can't, they cannot be unprogrammed what they learn in school. If you're okay with this, leave them in there. Leave them in there. Let them learn about Jesus being not being non-binary and bi. Let them learn about masturbation in first grade. Let them learn it. If you're okay with it, leave them in school, leave them in public school. But if, you, if you're going to leave in public school, please let it be known. You better teach them everything now. Don't hold nothing back. Teach them everything. My parents held back a lot of stuff from me as a child and as a young, as a young man. And I found out a lot of stuff on my own when I left home that I didn't know nothing about. Ladies and gentlemen, your children are going to learn about everything in the world in first grade. They're already programmed to learn craziness. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to teach them it's okay to be gay. 
They're going to teach them it's okay to be bi. They're going to teach them to be trans. It's going to teach them to be whatever it is. Whatever it is you don't want them to know, the school is going to teach them before you. So ladies and gentlemen, you keep your kids in public school, they're going to poison them with this mess. And you are not going to be able to unpoison them because school is more stronger than you. The kids are going to believe their teachers in the school before you. So if you want to do what's right, you want to keep them in public school, you better teach them now because if not, you're going to be in trouble and your child can be in trouble. There's no reason your first grade, should, your first grade, your first grader, your child should be being taught about masturbation and about Jesus and or God or whatever being bi or non-binary. There's no reason for it. But guess what? If you're okay with the way the world is right now, then guess what? Great. Fine. I'm not talking to you. If you're okay with it, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the parents that are that are concerned about what their, what, their, what, their, what their children are learning in school. Your children's not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you unless you ask them. A lot of parents don't ask their children what they're doing in school, what they're learning in school. And ladies and gentlemen, don't let, the, don't let them teach your children. You teach them first. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Live, Love, and Laugh Show. I hope, I hope, and pray that you teach your children. This is the time to grab your children, you teach them, you sit them down, you explain to them, they're boys, they're girls, what you do as a boy, what you do as a girl. Don't try to tell them it's, don't tell them it's okay to be whatever. No, it's not. We're in the world of the lost. We're in the world of the lost. There's too many lost people. We need to come together and get back to normalness normalness. I don't know if it's a word, but guess what is a word right now? Normalness. We need to get back to normalness. So normalcy in our lives. This, what's going on in the world, is not normal. It's not. And if you believe in something, if you believe in a higher power, he, that higher power is really looking down at us right now and going crazy. His head is spinning. Somebody's in control. And it sure and it sure ain't the, and it sure is not the high power. If you believe in that. Or some people might even believe that we're already in hell. When it looks like it what it looks like and sounds like, it does seem like we're already in it. But we ain't gotta stay in it. We don't have to stay in hell, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let your children go to hell. No, or no, should I say don't let your children stay in hell? This is hell. If your child is, is, is not right, if you not teach your child right from wrong, they're going to stay in hell. It's either, it's either here or, or, or where or down under, underneath, underneath where we underneath us. One or the other. You're either going to stay here in this hell or go to the real hell. Because right now, ladies and gentlemen, hell is taking over. As you see, hell is taking over. Grab your children, teach them before it's too late, ladies and gentlemen. Teach them before it's too late. I had to share this with you. Like I said, I had friends. I, I had put this on my one of my posts that I heard about this. I didn't know children were learning this. I think somebody put in my post that children were learning about it in their school. And I was like, huh? No, not, not children. Children ain't learning this. This is some grown-up. This is some grown-up shit. I said, this, I said, no, this is some grown-up shit. I heard this was some grown-ups that Jesus is by non-binary. But no, ladies and gentlemen, it goes further than those. Children are learning in school. <laughs> Teach your children before the school system teaches them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Love, the Love, Love, and Laugh show. I'm your host, Terry King. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to tune in Friday. Friday at 7 p.m. 7 p.m., we're going to have a great show. Me and my wife are going to do a show. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is, we're going, the topic of the show is going to be called, um, Is Your Faith Blocking Your Blessings? That's going to be the show Friday night at 7 p.m. So ladies and gentlemen, tune in. If you want to be a part of the show, please call in or, be a, or if you want to be a part of the show, let me know. Um, the password to the show is 304-443-1740. 
And the password is Eeyore. It's on Zoom, ladies and gentlemen. It's on Zoom, 304-443-1740. That's the meeting ID, and the password is Eeyore. You probably won't need the, probably won't need the password, but um, other than that, that's the, that's the come in live on the show. And also, you can call in. If you don't want to be live on the show, you can call in at 304-443-1740, extension 100. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, please tune in. Friday night, we've got a great show. We're going to talk about it. Are your, or is your faith blocking your blessings? Hmm. We're going to find out. We're going to talk about it. We've got some people on there. We're going to talk about it. Tune in. Like I said, it's Friday, 7 p.m. It's going to be a great show. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I'm your boy, Terry Higgins. It's the Live, Love, Laugh show. Live your life to the fullest. Love yourself and each other. And remember, don't take this life so serious. Laugh about it. Ladies, this is the Live, Love, and Laugh show. And enjoy yourself. And thank you for tuning in. And God bless each and every one of you. God bless each and every last one of you. And if you don't believe in God, well, just make sure to, to pray to your highest power and take care. God bless.